Hi, uh, this is Dr. Deepak Meghur and today I am presenting a traumatic cataract in a 9-year-old boy. He sustained a blunt injury to his eye two months back while playing with his friends and I will be addressing certain challenges while performing a posterior capsule access uh, in this type of cataract which would have a fibrotic uh, posterior capsule. The surgery is being performed under IV sedation and subtenance anesthesia. After making the side port incisions, the anti-capsule is stained with trypan blue. After filling the chamber with dispersive OVD, I create the main incision. And now I begin my rexus using the Haldi Purkar forceps. The capsule is less elastic compared to a typical developmental cataract in a child because of the chronic inflammation. It is thickened a little bit. Nevertheless, care has to be taken to use the stretching technique whenever there is the slightest hint of the rexus running away as is being done here at the during the completion of the rexus. Sizing and centration of the rexus is critical and I've got an appropriately sized rexus here. The soft nucleus is maneuvered out of the bag during hydro procedure. Then using irrigation aspiration, the soft lens matter is aspirated and expressed out. At this point, please note the low bottle height. The scleral rigidity being very low in these young children, it is wise to use a low bottle height to minimize sudden fluctuations in antechamber depth. Now the remaining cortex is aspirated out in a very controlled manner. What I am seeing behind makes me a little concerned. The posterior capsule looks dirty, it seems thickened and fibrotic. I am expecting certain difficulties while doing the posterior capsule rexus in this eye owing to this sort of appearance. Now is the time to do the posterior capsule rexus. Again, I follow the same principle of underfilling the bag with OVD so that the posterior capsule remains slightly taut so that I can perforate it easily the straight 26G needle. Once I have this opening, I am injecting sodium hyaluronate through the opening into the burger space. Immediately, I can see that the OVD falls down deep suggesting that the anterior highlight could be well behind. Now using the Haldi Poka forceps through the side port, I initiate the rexus and I can see that there is an overlying fibrotic plaque which is being torn and not the posterior capsule. So time for me to go back and again catch hold of the edge of the posterior capsule and then begin doing the rexus. Owing to the fibrotic nature of the posterior capsule, I am having a little difficulty in tearing and also possibly inducing some stress on the zonules. 
the opening is slightly smaller than what I would have wanted. So now I want to go back and resort to Vitractor, which is usually my go-to device in such complex uh, situations. Please note certain key points here. I am not using any irrigation. It is what I call dry cutting. The cutter is being used in IA cut mode. That is irrigation aspiration and cutting mode. That is there will be some aspiration before the cutting begins. That is in foot pedal tree. So as I am doing it there is something suspicious. I just want to confirm any vitreous disturbance. There was none. Uh, basically, I wanted to avoid anti vitrectomy in this child as I don't feel it is necessary nor is it justified to do vitrectomy in these children as a primary procedure, especially in these slightly older kids. Now, I thought that I'd enlarge the cap slot in me after implanting the lens. I'm placing the single piece hydrophobic acrylic lens in this child. And I have targeted the residual refractive error at about plus 0.5 diopters. The OVD both in front and behind the lens is being removed with the INDA. Remove the OVD behind the lens. I go with my cutter and so that I can trim the posterior capsule opening a little bit. I want to enlarge the size of it. Again, please note the extremely low bottle height. It is set at 26 centimeters. So I have enlarged the capsulotomy uh, to a decent size. A little bit of OVD comes out, but I can still see. Some amount of OVD is still present in the burger space. Uh, I just leave it there. I don't want to go deep now. One final confirmation of any vitreous disturbance and there is none. The lens is sitting nicely and well centered. It's time to close. Time is taken to hydrate the wounds and to check them for any leaks. They look fine. That's it. The case is done. And this is the first day picture. The patient reads 612 unaided. And this is the fifth day picture. The poster capsule are opening quite well in the visual axis, so looks alright. That's it, I hope you found this helpful and thank you for attention.